what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm old IJ and we are locked in let me tell you i didn't want to get on here and do this but we might as well i'm not gonna lie to you it's a lot of nonsense going on now between kendrick lamar and aubrey drake graham now ever since not like us dropped it blew up it took the whole world by storm i'm in here playing it four five times a day i even had a little clip of it on my damn soundboard but now we see that aubrey is suing for two different reasons the first one He's suing because he said that UMG used bots to make Not Like Us a viral sensation. And then the second one is defamation. Now we're gonna jump into both of these articles and I'm gonna break it down and give my perspective and also some things that I'm gonna touch on that a lot of people probably haven't covered. And I have a theory of why Aubrey is doing this. Yeah, I call him Aubrey. His mama named him Aubrey, I'm gonna call him Aubrey. Before we jump into this and look at these articles, if you like this kind of content, if you want to keep up to date with what's going on between Kendrick and Drake, then hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. Make sure you hit that like button. But let's go ahead, jump into it. Look at these two lawsuits that Aubrey has, and I'll give you my theories on why he's actually suing the record label and not Kendrick Lamar. Over on Billboard.com, this is the article that dropped yesterday, and it says Drake accuses UMG and Spotify of a scheme to artificially inflate Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. In a legal petition, the Star's company accuses UMG of serious wrongdoing, a stunning twist month after his high profile feud with Kendrick Lamar. Now the thing is, it's a legal petition. This isn't a lawsuit yet. Basically what he's saying is, Universal Music Group, you guys hear for information, you need to give me that information so I can go ahead and put together a Silver Rico. Now this is months after it, and what I like to point out is, Drake was actually the first one to throw a false accusation out there and said that Kendrick allegedly abused his wife. Now, Kendrick took it to another level after you mentioned his wife, and that's where we got into the PDF files, and that's where we are today. But not like us, it didn't need any bots. I'm pretty sure if you're a non-biased music person, you probably listened to it several times. I live in Germany right now. They play the song nonstop over here. I was in France for the Olympics. They played it over there. Kamala Harris, she said it at her uh, campaign speech. They play it everywhere. The LA Dodgers, they played it. But let's continue on. Drake has initiated legal action against Universal Music Group and Spotify over allegations that the two companies conspired to artificially in inflate the popularity of Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. In a filing Monday, November 25th in a Manhattan court, Drake's Frozen Moments LLC accuses UMG of launching an illegal scheme involving bots, payola, and other methods to pump Lamar's song, a track that savagely attacked Drake amid an ongoing feud between the two stars. Now, this is interesting. Using bots, a scheme to get the songs out there. Well, I have a quick question. Why would Spotify allow bots from a company on their website when they're the one that has to pay this money out? That, that doesn't even make sense. Why would I bot my website to pay you so you can have a number one and we're paying you to have a number one when you're supposed to be paying us? It just doesn't make sense. But also, if you go back to 2018, I'm gonna show you guys something about Spotify and with Drake. Here's another article on Billboard from July 2nd, 2018. Spotify subscribers demand refunds over too much Drake promotion. With the release of Drake's latest album, Scorpion, on Friday, Spotify spent the weekend spreading the news with a promotion takeover that might have helped hype up fans but also turned on some. With the release of Drake's latest album, Scorpion, on Friday, Spotify spent the weekend spreading the news with the first of its kind promotional takeover that might have helped hype up fans but also turned off some subscribers enough to ask for a refund. Heralding that Spotify referred to Scorpion season, Drake was placed so prominently on the streaming services editorial playlist that his image was even used on those that did not feature his music. Best of British, massive dance hits, happy pot hits. Among them, this is the first time a single artist has taken over multiple Spotify playlists on the same day a rep told Billboard last week. There's a Drake for particularly every mood. Scorpion season is here. Listen on Spotify. Now, would you look at that? It looks like 
you were botted all over the whole Spotify website. So this is just the kettle calling the pot black. How are you going to blow the whistle on your company who done the same thing for you? Now, do I believe they use bots? I think they use bots on all of their number one artists. Everyone, you're not just going number one over and over without the help from the company. There's also video from I think 2013 where J. Cole and Drake went to the actual mall and bought all of J. Cole's albums, his CDs. So it's not unlikely that Drake would do something like this, but that's what these labels do. Their job is to make money. So whether they push Kendrick Lamar's song out or not, that's what they're here for. You got a 300 to $4 million contract with UMG. Now we'll get into my theory about that a little bit later on, but this is the same thing that they were doing for you. They were even offering refunds because your album was botted all over the website of Spotify. Even in genres of music, you aren't in. Back to the original article, we have Drake's attorneys accuse UMG of violating the Racketeer Influence and Corruption Organizations Act, the federal RICO, the statute often used in criminal cases against, against organized crime. They also allege deceptive business practices and false advertising under New York state law. The court filings are a remarkable twist in the high profile beef between the two stars, which Drake and Lamar exchanged stinging this tracks over a period of months earlier this year that such a dispute was spill into business litigation seemed almost unthinkable in the world of hip-hop now i can understand if you're going to sue somebody for defamation which is the next case that we're going to look at but if you're the one that start this you're the one telling him drop 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 he drops and then you make a false accusation then he makes a false accusation and you continue to go back and forth you can't wait six months to call the police and say, hey, he's assaulting me. He's beating me. He's using bots. You're only saying that he's using bots because he's using your tactic to beat you. Now, did they use bots? They probably did. As I mentioned, I think every huge artist uses bots. It's just no way to get around that. Whether they want the artist knows or not, the company is probably doing it or there's just people just botting it. It is what it is, man. It's just the way the world is. You got those crazed fans that would do whatever it takes. It is just what it is. It's a business at the end of the day. But you can't go and tell after you've been doing this for years. When Meek Mill was losing, did he go and say it was defamation? Was it my girl's tour or world's tour? It don't matter. It was a tour that I was on. I could say it's my tour. I'm on it. But that's, that's what it is. But let's go into this second case that Aubrey is trying to bring up because it's getting ugly for the kid. This is why they call him the boy and not the man. Here we go over on all hiphop.com. Drake files second action against UMG cites defamation over Kendrick Lamar's false song. Now, this is what I want to point out. He's suing the record label. He's not suing Kendrick Lamar, the person that actually made it. Now, the thing about when you start doing this, remember Lucian Grange was also in the Diddy case, but he got himself removed along with UMG. This could be bad for Aubrey. This could open up a can of worms. They actually do a little bit of investigating and those PDF accusations might become real. But in my theory, we'll go ahead and do that now. My theory is Drake signed 300 to $400 million. His music isn't moving like it used to. You know when you sign these contracts, they're expected to make at least double or triple what they gave you. So let's just say it's 400 million. They would want to make $1.2 billion. But if his music isn't moving like it used to, we know that he potentially has, allegedly has a gambling problem. So his pockets are getting hit. And since he can't pay back this whole contract that he got, he's trying to get out of this deal. And that's why I think he's suing UMG and Spotify to get out of his contract where they don't be at, where they aren't able to recuperate that money because why would you sue the record label or the streaming service when they're not the ones that did it kendrick lamar is the one that said this but you can't sue kendrick lamar because if you do then he can sue you for defamation but i think kendrick lamar actually has some kind of information or some facts behind this that aubrey is trying to keep up under wraps that's my theory. He's really trying to get out of his contract. That's why he's trying to sue the record label so he can say, well, I don't have to pay you guys back that 300, 400 million. 
because remember he dropped about 10 to 12 or maybe even 15 songs this year after the beef that haven't done anything drake has fired off a second action against umg over kendrick lamar's seethan diss track not like us in the latest filing the toronto rap star accuses the former top dog entertainment mc of defamation for falsely accusing him of being an ex-offender in the suit drake notes that umg knew not like us falsely accused him of being a certified pedo or a predator but chose to move forward with the release anyway that's the difference kendrick lamar he has pg lane he's not signed to umg he just uses umg as a distribution see drake's contract they own any of his audio any of his video they own everything and they just gave him a check up front that's what kanye said a lifetime deal i feel bad for n words but in the suit he said that umg knew about not like us umg could have refused to release or dispute the song or required the offending material to be edited or removed drake lawyers wrote but umg chose to do the opposite umg designed finance and then executed a plan to turn not like us into a viral mega hit with the intent of using spectacle of harm to drake and his business to drive consumer hysteria and of course massive revenues that plan succeeded likely beyond umg's wildest expectations much like monday november 25th filing the new petition isn't exactly a lawsuit it's a pre-action filing aim taking depositions from key figures at umg iheart and in an effort to collect more data that could support drake's accusations in a future lawsuit as i was saying i believe he's really just trying to get out of his contract we've seen that he took a massive hit in his revenues little yachty told us oh he's good he's not worried about this he's in good spirit but we really know what's going on he's losing all that money he's getting online i'm here in my mind my body my spirit who talks like that man you're just a canadian dude that got caught up in the culture and all that pretending is coming to an end now i don't have any issues with any of these guys well, I say I just sit and listen to Kendrick Lamar's albums. No. Do I listen to Drake's? No. I've never really been a fan of, like, Drake's music. I mean, I'll listen to him as features. Like I said, I don't have any issues with the guy. I always thought he was just corny. But these are the facts, and that was my theory of him trying to get out of this contract. Let me know what you think. And would you be interested in more articles like this? Because, Drake, you're going out sad. And I know it's going to be more and more stuff coming out because... You lost at your own battle. Kendrick Lamar has beat you at your own game. Let me know what you think. I'm ODIJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.